What's going on guys? You got Kwasi here for Kwasi Media, Kwasi Animations Studio. Check this out. Today we're going to do something kind of nifty. This is how I'm going to start to build environments for my upcoming movie for 2022 uh, uh, called Kalita Unchained. So we're going to do, we're going to use some arrays, going to make some procedural, pr procedural materials and see how it turns out so i hope you guys like this so basically i'm just going to go ahead and name it i'm gonna make sure to name everything accordingly so this way we don't have to go through a lot of changes on trying to figure out what's what okay it's like having cube one cube seven cube 700 it'll drive you after a while so it's best to already have a notion of what it is that you're going to use so i'm going to go ahead and name this collection uh apartment building so this would be like a building or apartment so what we're going to do is going to model one part one um, one apartment or a, like a space and it's going to be real simple like it's not going to be complex because these are not going to be places we're going to actually see inside of i'm going to set out to pair lighting in it and have it look like i said just as well as we can and then we're going to add some other components to try to just something just simple super simple so let's start there all right so first off we're going to add q all right now, excuse me, I tend to try to keep everything, I tend to use the 3D cursor a lot to move the origin point, but this time I'm gonna leave it where it's at, okay? So right now I'm going to, I'm not gonna name it just yet until I have the form that I want. So right now, I know we just have a normal cube, okay? So I'm going to stretch it out on the X, So I wanted to have a certain amount of size and then I will do it on the Y. Okay. And we're gonna bring it a little bit a little bit bigger on the X. Okay, so this will be one of the places in this building. Okay. So now I'm gonna hide this one and I'm gonna create another one. Now the other one is going to be the base. Now this one I'm going to use, and I'm gonna go ahead and name it. I'm gonna bring the bottom to, I mean the origin to the 3D cursor, and then I'm gonna go to the transform um, and type in 0 0.01, okay? So this is gonna be the base for the building. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rename that apartment building base. Not Vaz, base. Okay, so I'm gonna hide that because I'm not gonna use it just yet, and then we're gonna bring back the other cube. So what's gonna happen here is, is I'm gonna break this up. So let's go into edit mode. And what I want to do is take these edges. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this view, click edge select, and just select these edges. And we're going to bevel those edges a little. So I'm going to, I'm going to bevel them like that. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Then I'm going to come in again with another loop. Go to the top. Then another one at the bottom. So this is going to be kind of, uh, I, I hate to really say the word cyberpunkish, but it's going to be something similar to that. All right. Okay, so let's go back into solid mode. I'm going to go into face select mode. I'm going to select these faces and these faces. So what I'm going to do here is, no, my bad. I'm going to select these faces and I don't want these rear faces because I intend for it to be a building. So I'm, basically what I'm going to do is, is, no, I could probably leave that. Matter of fact, C select at middle mouse. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll leave that. Now what I'll do is, is E, and, uh, no, let's undo that. Mm, all E, all long normals. I don't know how poorly that's gonna extract. Didn't do too bad, okay. All right, so these, these right here, we're gonna select these. Select those. And I'm gonna add small divisions. So those divisions are gonna be something that we're gonna to use to kind of give off the notion that there's more than one, uh, more than one room. Okay. So I'll create those divisions with basically a plane and then solidify those those planes. All right. So I want to take this part and I want to I'm gonna hit extrude on the normals. I'm gonna push it out a little bit, just a little. There we go. All right, so now we have our apartment building. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go back into edit mode, face select, and I'm gonna select these faces. I'm gonna separate by selection. I'm gonna bring it back, because trust me, these are coming back. But right now, I'm gonna hide the rest of it. I'm gonna, okay, so what I wanna do is, it's coming here. I'm gonna push this, and then I'm going to add divisions. Because I didn't want anything to be in the way when I added them. And I wanna add some partitions, basically. So I'm gonna control R, and then I'm going to Control B and I'm gonna bevel just a little. Matter of fact, let me catch all of these. Catch this one, this one, and these. This is why I can do them all at the same time. All right. Okay, so now, I'm Control E, extrude on normals, and there we go. So now we have some depth on that the windows are broken up. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing at the top. This time I'm gonna add another loop cut, but this time it's gonna be at the top. Add one down here at the bottom. No, undo that one. Undo that one too. Just bring everything back so I can see where we're at. Yeah, I don't need to do that. All right, so now I'm pair these two back up again. Boom, all right. Okay, so that's not bad, not bad at all. All right, so now I want this to look really almost futuristic like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to bevel uh, angle six I said six not 66 six okay 0 0.043 all right so we got a decent little bevel on it nothing too drastic all right yeah I can deal with that okay all right so now I'm gonna take these outer portions I'm gonna turn the bevel off for a second because I want to in fact I gotta turn it off completely I want to grab the edges okay so I just want these edges right do I want that one yeah I want that one too and this one all right so I'm just gonna duplicate all right so this is gonna be I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna separ separate by selection and I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the thing I selected and then I'm gonna keep it by itself so now I'm gonna come back in the edit mode go to face select and I'm gonna select all of the faces Now, what I'm about to do, well, I can just do this. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. All right, so I'm going to go into the modifier. I'm going to go into wireframe. I'm going to come back out. All right, let's see what it looks like up close. Thin it out a little bit more. Thicken it up some. I'm thickening it up a little bit. All right, boundaries. All right, I'm gonna apply, and then I'm gonna add it back, and there we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so now I'm gonna take that, and I'm just a little bit on the X and on the Y, I'm gonna bring it out some. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to pair these two together. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and call the top one that we did apartment. Okay, and then the bottom portion, I'm going to name it Framing. Okay, and then I'm going to pair the two together. Control P, keep transform. So this way, when I go and move the object, it moves together. All right. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of material. So <clears throat> I'm going to put this in EV right now. And matter of fact, I'm going to bump up my, my internal resolve to about 64 in the viewport also. Turn on bloom and uh, screen space reflections. Okay, so I'll do the material right here. I'm not even gonna go to the shader tab. Just do it right here. So we ain't gotta go no too far and just get it cracking right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this to a different light type. All right. So the core. So I'm gonna add three pieces. One, two, three. I want glass, concrete, and metal. Okay. So. We're gonna start with the bottom one because if I use the top one, it's gonna automatically shade everything one thing. And I wanna start one piece at a time, <laughs> excuse me. So I'm gonna do the bottom one and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to call it windows. All right, let me get rid of this shader and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go with the glass shader. All right, 
okay so I already know because this is Eevee I'm gonna have to come in and do some some switch ups and some changes I'm gonna use hashed and screen space reflections okay now because I have the main portion selected I'm gonna go in this so, um, edit mode and I'm gonna select just these these uh, uh, things that I'm gonna basically do for Windows and then we're gonna assign all right so they're ready to go all right now I'm gonna bring the index of refraction up a little bit just a little a little bit more bring it down some okay and bring the roughness up a little bit because we want the windows to be a little glossy and then I'm gonna add a little bit more darkness to them all righty then there we go so it's ready to rock all right so we go inside be a little harder to see out but you can see out all right all right cool all right so that's for the windows all right so now the reason why I want my hash so it have that look better fact let me pull the roughness back a little bit more all right don't forget to save. So let me save this into the place that I intend for it to go, which will be into Kalita Unchained. That's not the right one. <laughs> Where's Kalita Unchained, Assets, and I'm gonna give it an entire which comes. So I guess I'll just say, um, oof. I can't think of where I wanted this to be. Oh man, you caught me at a bad time. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do underscore city. This way, I can just um, apartments. All right, apartment assets. There we go, apartment assets. All right, so I can go in there and I have all my components in that folder instead of it by itself. All right, so now we're gonna do the next part, which will be the metal. So I'll just type in metal framing. And then I'm going to click the BDSF shader, Control Shift T. And then I'm going to go to my uh, materials. All right. I'm going to type in metal because I'm looking for my own particular ones. All right. I think that's a good one. No, I don't want that. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to give it my own texture, so I'm not going to use uh, the texture that comes with it. Push this down to three. I'm gonna bump the no no I'm not I'm leaving it alone I'm gonna add a a color ramp and then I'm gonna go back again to the same thing select it and this time I'm going to select everything outside of the windows okay so I'm sorry wrong thing let's select the framing okay because yeah I messed up all right so let's go to the framing all right and then I'm gonna go in and then I'm just gonna hit select all right so now since I mean the sign. So I want this to be a little bit darker. So, okay, so now when I open it up, I'm gonna hit A, hit U, and then I'm gonna do Q projection. All right, then we come out of there. All right, so let's go up close. All right, that's not too bad. Let me see what happens if I go to 10. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so, all right, so now let's look at the shininess level. I wanna see how shiny we're gonna get it, because I want it to be kinda shiny. All right, then break it down a little bit. All right, there we go. All right. Okay, so now the back to the main building, I want this to be concrete. So now we're gonna type in concrete. Again, going back to uh, the assets. I'm using Blender 2.91 if anybody wants to know. So this way, no one goes, why aren't you using the, this, that, the dirt? I'm like, cause I'm using 2.91, that's why. This can be done in any version of Blender, all right? Okay, so open this up. I already know that these windows are selected. So I'm just gonna select the windows and this is what's gonna be funny about this one, watch. All right, so we're gonna select the windows and then I'm gonna hit Control I, all right? And then I'm gonna go up to the concrete and assign. All right, so, being as I know, and then I'm gonna hit U, Q, Project. Now, being as I know that this has already been shaded, now I'm gonna bring it down so I can find the color I want for it. Alrighty then, not too bad. And we got that grittiness that we want. Yes, sir. All right, so the apartment has been done. All right, so now the next thing I want to do is add um, those uh, div dividers. 
So I'm going to I'm going to close that one. I'm sorry, my bad. Hold on. If you want this to all go away, hold shift, and then everything will go away when you hit the uh, the actual visibility uh, tab. All right. So I'm going to go back into the main shader. I'm going to bring this back down again. All right. And then solid view mode, I mean. I'm going to open. I need this open. I don't know why I closed it. All right. So let's bring this up. I'm going to turn this 90 degrees. And we're going to go up by one. Pull it back. I want to make sure I see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So I don't want this to bleed through. So I'm going to push it down to a certain point. All right. I'm going to go above. And then I'm just going to come up with like little like ideas. So I'm going to use a uh, region extrude. This way I don't have to fight with it. Oof. Okay. And then. Ooh, I see what happened there. All right, let me get, hold on. Let me do this the right way. All right. There you go. All right. That's not all the way to the back. Let me push that all the way back. All right. I don't want it to come through, but yeah. Huh, I'm curious. Push this wall out some. I should better do the same with this one, huh? Yes, sir. Same with this one. All right. And then grab this. Extrude to the east. Because for some reason it wants to do all the things it wants to do. I don't want that. That's not what I asked for, now is it? say that's like a bathroom or something all right so now I come in I beefed it up a little bit this one the same thing push it back though I'm gonna push it forward all right I say I'll grab this one this is a small little division and come in and extract it again gonna keep it simple that's the whole point is to keep it simple as possible all right I don't think I'm gonna go on the wild this one and then push it out to here right because again it's about just trying to it's just coming up with something so I'm probably gonna delete these right here so there's like a hallway there yeah I'll do that all right so now push this out push this out I'm gonna delete these front two hurts oh no that was bad hold on Go to faces. I'm gonna get rid of these faces. Get rid of that face. Yeah, that's cool. It's like a doorway, right? So we come in here and go to see through. It's like a doorway in there, right? Yeah, it's not bad. You know, a lot of this needs to be closed up. <laughs> oh, select that, 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 and that, and that. And then these are not even, oof, this is just bad. All right. <laughs> I ain't talking about messing up. All right. Let's see. Well, I mean, again, no one's going to see inside of it, so we're not going to go too far. All right. Okay, so let me go back to solid mode. All right, that's not bad. So again, this is just just a um, a mock-up. All right, so being as I did that, I'm gonna call these walls, and then again pair it to the thing and keep transform. All right, so matter of fact, I'm tripping. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. And turn the framing back on. I'm gonna select all of it, and I'm just gonna pair it. All right, this way now I don't have to go through nothing. Okay, so the part that I, matter of fact, let me undo that real quick so I can make the walls concrete. Concrete, you, and then we're good there now. So the two, so now. I don't even say, why would you want concrete walls? I don't, I just chose to, <laughs> just, chose to just make concrete walls. All right, so now I go, 
All right, so that's dead. All right, now, since that's done, I'm gonna add uh, the light. All right, so now let's come in here, bring in a point light. I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna make the uh, background dark because I want to be able to see it. All right. Say like maybe like a little hall light or something. And I figure the best thing to do is to come in, give me some shadow, and then to just find like the, the, the right amount of lighting to have. All right. If I go to four, that's like here. Duplicate. Oh, snap. Go to the second one. Push. All right. And the thing is, is I'm doing it, but I may be changing this up. Matter of fact, let me stop that. Because I'm because even if I pair them, they may not necessarily go with the array. So I intend to use an array. So right now I'm gonna delete them. Let's clear it. Let me clear it out. Alright, so that's done. Let me go ahead and go back to two. All right, oh, six. All right, so since this is one solid piece now, the reason why I kept the base, let's check our time. All right, 20 minutes. So the reason why I kept the base, I'm keeping the base hidden is because of what I'm about to do. All right, so now I clearly know that the array is gonna work based on the center part here, right? So what I'm thinking about, what I thought about doing was bringing the center part to the 3D cursor, but just gonna play with what I have. All right, so I'm gonna go zero. Well, no, we'll go one, and then I'm gonna pull it up, open a little bit more. So I say 1.3. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, 1.35, 1.34, and then just ease it. Okay. Man, why is it so hard to, to do the little simplest thing? All right. Okay, so here we go. Now, the reason why I centered it is because each there's going to be each apartment is going to be have a wall between each one of them. So let's go in and matter of fact, let me do this. Go in and I'm going to add another cube. Comes around the middle, push it up one, and then I'm going to make it smaller in the center and then open it up. Now I can clearly see that these are not even, which drives me a little bit. Three, five, zero. And I don't want to move this, but I guess I'm gonna have to. All right, well, there it is. Let me go above, go forward, because I don't want them to. All right. Yeah, all right, then why? It's pretty much down the middle, huh? Come on, mouse. Ugh. Yeah, 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 take it all the way out. Scale on the X a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna take this cube and I'm gonna call it apartment divider. All right, and now with this divider, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bevel modifier, go back in the uh, render mode, because I'm likely gonna push it open further I may take this side window out on both of them, just, just to take it out. Um, okay, so again, it's six, zero, three, four. All right, yeah, I'm gonna take that side window out. All right, so let me click this, turn the array off right now. Okay, I'm gonna hide the divider and click this and turn it, oh, face select, please. All right, so, even the in-betweens, I probably selected all kind of stuff just to get that. I did? Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so since those are like they are, I'm gonna go ahead and just make these concrete. All right, this way now when I go back into uh, render mode, that's, that's, that's solid. All right, so now you bring back these parts, come back into here, and turn it back on. Oh, come on, man. All right. So that means that these, this side is no longer, so I, I need to change the other side too. Man, all right, well, you know, hey, it comes with territory, right? Make sure I didn't select nothing else. All right, go in and make it concrete. All right, so 
I mean, as long as those front windows work, we're good. Because again, it's gonna be an apartment complex, so there will be other buildings that are that it's gonna be right here on the side. Okay, so now I can take this and go all the way with it. I'm going to give it the concrete. I think metal. No, matter of fact, sure, right. This is what I'm gonna do with this. Just leave it by itself. Oh, no. Well, matter of fact, let me make sure that it's that it opens up all the way first. Cause I want them to lock right here. Boom. Right. So they're locked. Okay. And then come in. Open this up because I think it still has it. Yeah. Let's turn it off. Okay, so what I want to do is chop it up. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab it, grab all these edges. In fact, let me turn it off so it doesn't mess up my stuff. Hit I to inset, I again. And since I know all of the insets are going to be have, have this weird thing going on right there. All right, and then uh, Alt-E normals, push in a little. Just a little bit, not a lot. All right, and then uh, yeah, go to the here and assign the concrete. Control I and assign the metal. Right? Okay. So now, when I do this, let me go in Q project over to this control I Q project all right so now once I come out of this mode and go back into shaded mode there we go all right now I'm gonna pair this to this so now it's oh I'm gonna just pair it <laughs> that's strange how that did that hold on hold on wait 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 Okay, let me just do do it like that. All right, because it'll still be an individual part. All right, so now let me throw the array on there. So it shows me that, but I also want to go up. And that's the, what is it? Rel is it constant offset or relative offset? Oh, my bad. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Now, close this one. Now, create a second array because you need... Okay, the, your first array is going to be on your X. The second is going to be on your Y. So, we're going to add a second array modifier, right? I'll turn, turn. That's cool if it says two. I'm going to turn this off and then go to on the Z, right? Okay, and then just go like, let's say one, two, three, four, all right? So there we are, one, two, three, four. I'll select this since apparently I need an array for that. I don't need it on, that I need it on the Z. And then I'll go one, two, three, four, five. All right, oof, that one is a little crucial. I think that one may be too big for his own britches. All right, so let's bring it down a little bit. Oh, come on, dang, 1.95. Is it too much? Yeah, it's too much. If I click it. Ugh. Even with the finessing, it's still weird. All right, there it is. All right, cool. So there we go. Okay. So now when I take and I say I select this and this, okay, and we already have, so you have the, the complex. All right. So if I, all right, I was grabbing the wrong button. All right. So clearly I can move it, right? All right, so now if I duplicate, because everything is in this hierarchy, so if I go and select hierarchy, right, I'm gonna hit save. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna duplicate. All right, so I'm gonna hit Alt D because I want it to be a separate object instead of being just a copy. And then I'm going to rotate this. So the rotation should work, shouldn't trip out on me. All right, so we can go negative 90, and then I'm gonna slide it on back. Because again, I told you it's gonna be a complex, so here we go. All righty then, looking good, looking good. All right, and I'll push this over a little bit more. Yeah. So that's a set right there. And then of course, then it can be variations. 
So you're looking at like apartment complex one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so right now what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna take this base, remember the base. The base is concrete. So we'll just go ahead and add the concrete to it, open it up, assign it, and then Q project. All right, so now I'm gonna go above and then I'm gonna spread it out across the X. Hold on, wait a minute. Where is it? Um, let me think. All right, stretch it out. I want it to be just past it, so let me go to the front. Cause it's below it. So bring it down below it. Go on the Y. And strangely enough, I'm going to array it as well. So here comes the array. So the array is gonna go, that's the wrong thing. That's a bevel, I said array, all right. I did a wireframe, my mouse is tripping, man. All right, so we definitely don't want it on that, we want it on the Y. So we're gonna go one on the Y, and then I'm gonna click it several times. All right, so I'll go four, cause it's not gonna see that far back. All right, I just want it to stick out, so you know, I need to go on the fifth one. All right, so I just need to stick out right there on the edge, okay? So there's the complex, and then maybe like you could put like little things on top of whatever, to create like more of a, a uh, an apartment feel. But yeah, so um, this is still not right because each one of these should be down into the thing and it's really bothering me. So I don't need seven, I just need six. Cool, there we go. Same thing with this one. So that one was what, 1.16, All right, yep. Boom, there we go, there we go. All right, y'all. Now, with that being done, all right, so now the thing here is I want to create an atmosphere for it. So we're gonna create an atmosphere for it, so this way, like, there's no, um, so I'm gonna, I'm sorry, no, we use another plane, bring in another plane, I'm gonna call it uh, ground. I did not do that right. You may not see it, but I'm gonna definitely have it. All right, so I'm gonna bring it out, just blow it out a little bit. I'm gonna bring it below the concrete. All right, and then control A and transform, all right. Now I'm gonna give it, <laughs> What, what, guess what, the concrete as well. All right, so I'm coming to it and then I'm gonna hit Q project because I wanna make sure that it, that it makes sense. All right, so that's on there. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think about what to do next. Matter of fact, let me go into here real quick because I wanna see something. I want it to be smaller and thinner down here. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Even though they just jacked everything up. Yeah, I don't like that. That's a little better. All right, okay. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make it its own thing. I'm gonna call it ground. This me being particular about my stuff. All right, and then the roughness. Where is it? I know I have a color. I had a color ramp on it. I do not. Okay. The color ramp on it. I want this to look kind of wet. All right, so let me see how close we're gonna get to being wet. Be kind of wet up in there. There we go. I pull this up a little bit. All righty then. A little sheen on it. Let me start messing with this a little bit. All right. 
There we go. Now, the next part is where we're talking about the lighting. Oh, come on. All right, so I'm going to add, 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 add uh, no, I'm going to add a collection for lighting. All right. And then we'll do this real quick. All right, so um, I'm going to add uh, point lights. And bring this point light over to this one because I want each place to have its own particular light, I guess that you would say. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna cut the light on, I mean, cut the lights off, and just bring in a little light. There we go. All right, and it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, well, let's find something. All right, so this one, I'll make this one like mm, 30. Bluish tone, Oop. that light, 30, more yellowish. Sometimes you go in a house and the lights don't all match. <laughs> I make this the same thing, kind of yellowish. All right, there we go, yeah. All right, and then again, pick another one, duplicate, and move it over to this one. Matter of fact, come in here so I can see where we're at. All right, don't want no trouble. All right, push this over. Push it forward a little bit. This is kind of like in, in the uh, living room area, I guess you say. And I think this one will be kind of bluish because I know there will be, they say they're watching TV or something, and I'll crank it up to like 75. All right, yeah, there we go. Now this one down here at the bottom, I'm going to bring another one in to it also. Push it to the front. I'll take it to like 120. So now you see how the light's bleeding outside a little? That's what I want. I'm going to pull back the specular just a little bit. Alright, make sure these shadow, these contact shadows are on. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Click. Alright. Or so. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're doing good. Doing good. Go to the their apartment. There's a go back to kind of that yellowish tone. Yes, sir. All right. Let me go back. Push this up. See what we got. Yeah. You can see that. Alright, so yeah. Okay. Let me turn that off. So it's dark out there, right? So now what I'm gonna do is now since I have those lights, I'm going to give them their own um, so say apart. <laughs> Give them their own. What's that thing called? Um, collection. I'm gonna put them all in the same collection. So this is where I can close them out, and then I'm gonna go world light. Right. All right. So now when I come into the world light, I'm going to add surprisingly a giant spotlight. Now why I'm doing that is because. I don't want to, um, I want to create a, I want to create like a, um, I'm trying to think about how I want this to be. I'm just creating like this, this ambiance where it's like you get to experience basically. Alright. Alright, let's see what we get. Yeah. So it's like like being on the street when you go by and whatnot. Alright, so so now in that I'm gonna also add a new collection for volume. So we're just gonna say a volume uh, underscore fog. Now I'm gonna bring in a cube. So let's go back to solid mode. 
And on this cube, I'm just gonna bring, make it pretty big size. And then I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. All right, let me push it back some. Fake. All right, there we go. Bring it up a little bit. And then, weirdly enough, I know you might say, what's this, gonna, what's this have to do with anything? Well, I'm gonna bevel it. <laughs> but, I'm gonna bevel it strangely. So I'm gonna add three to it. All right, okay, so stretch it out a little bit more and then come over here and I'm gonna go fog gonna turn this off completely remove it and then connect a principal volume to it we're gonna turn it on click boom all right so since we know we're not gonna be able to see inside all right so I turn the principal volume on and then I'm gonna bring the density down pretty low all right Okay, so now with me, I'm gonna use a small emission and then I'm gonna bring that emission down. And why is because I wanna have a little bit of its own like essence in there, right? And then I'm gonna play with this. All right, let me crank this back up some. All right, okay, so the volume metrics. I have my samples are pretty high, so. So let's see, you at six. Okay, yeah. So if I turn this off, yeah. All right, so I want this this cute, this light here to be somewhat bluish. So I'm gonna give it almost like this bluish tint. And I feel like it's still not cranked up enough. So I'm gonna add some shadows to it. And I'm gonna crank it up to 12 grand. There we go. Now, as for the fog, I still feel like it's not thick enough. So I'm gonna make it a little thicker. All right. So since the volume, see how he's getting these little blurbs on the edge with the volume? I'm gonna go fix that real quick. All right, so let's get these little blurbs off with the volume. And I'm gonna bring this up to 16. Do that but it's still doing it distribution crank it up let me say um 70.1 or just one Okay, let me add a camera to the scene. So we're gonna add cinema. I'm gonna add a camera to the scene because this still got a lot, a lot to do. So I'm not done yet, not even close to it. But the point is to create something that allow you to basically have something to play with. So now let me. All right. I think it's too close. I think this is too close. So I'm going to bring this back some. All right. I think this is too close and it needs to be spread out a little bit. So let me, let me widen this up a little bit more and then there we go. Yeah. All right. Then I'm going to go up to like a hundred, like mm, say 30 K and then on the fog again. Why does it keep doing that? I'm going to come back down. So Matter of fact, I'm gonna go all the way up with it. Go all the way up with it. I'm gonna take the mission out, out of it. Why did it, when I go in there, it didn't give me, okay, there it is. So it didn't you give me to me to there we go. It's not too bad, but I still feel like this is, needs to be worked on, so. Huh? Ah. <laughs> the density just went crazy on me. All right. And then maybe like some sort of light from behind. So then I, like I come in another world light and it'll be a, um, it'd be about the same color, but a little bit lighter. All right. Let me go above. Take it up. Give it a three meter, six 
Speeder. Alright. I won't scale it. I'll turn it. Yes, sir. There we go. So, yeah, it's just something simple. It don't have to be extreme. It can be used for anything, sci-fi stuff, whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Just something simple. Like, for instance, I could come and put, like, lights and stuff on top. This way they have something to blur off. But, nonetheless, I just want to do that for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. I really hate when people say this, so let me say it again. Number love and uh, I'll